Hello everyone, my name is Ruchita Patel with OnTrax and this is the Maximo Minute. Today I'll be showing you an example of using Maximo formulas. Maximo formulas allow administrators to meet business requirements to set or validate certain field values based on logical expressions and calculations which would otherwise require setting up an automation script. Formulas have been available as of Maximo 7603, so they're still a fairly new feature. Here I'm going to show you how powerful Maximo formulas can be and how we can use them to provide users more information and to perform some validations on purchase orders as an example. I've created three new fields on the PO object in database configuration and added the three fields to the out-of-the-box purchase orders application using application designer. These three fields are for informational purposes only, so I've added them as read-only fields to my Maximo purchase orders screen. The first field here on the left is a checkbox that will show whether an invoice exists for this PO or not. This is good information for users as they don't have to switch between invoices and purchase order applications to find out if a PO has existing invoices. On the right side are two fields that I've set up. The first one will show you the number of lines that this PO has. This is an integer field which will just show you the count of PO lines on a PO without the users having to switch to the PO line tab each time. The second field below this is the line cost missing checkbox which will let users know if any of their PO lines has a line cost of zero and will help with data validation. Once you create these fields in database configuration and add them to the PO application using Application Designer, you are now ready to create maximum formulas associated to them. First, I will navigate to the database configuration application. To add the formulas, go to the More Actions menu and select the type of formula you want to add. I'm adding attribute formulas for the purchase order object. Click on the new row button and add my first formula, which is to select the invoice exists checkbox if there are invoice lines associated to a PO. So I will select PO as my object name. Under attribute name, I will select the attribute invoice exists. I've just created in database configuration and for my formula expression I will enter this. What this means is that if the number of invoice lines related to a particular PO is greater than zero then the invoice exists checkbox will be set to one which means it will be checked off otherwise it will be set to zero which means it will remain unchecked. The dollar syntax that you see here is used along with a variable name in this case, invoice line is the name of a relationship between the PO and invoice line objects in Maxima. For my next formula, I will enter PO as the object again and PO line count as the new attribute that I have previously created. And my formula in this case is this. Okay, so this formula returns the number of PO lines and that's really all we want to put in the value for the PO line count attribute. And for my last formula, I will enter PO as the object. My attribute here is line cost missing, which is a new attribute that I've previously created as well. And the formula here is... All right, so this formula here checks to see if the line cost for any of the PO lines is zero or less and if so it will select the line cost missing checkbox and that's it my formulas are set and they are all active by default so let's go ahead and check the final result in the purchase orders application all right so i've got a po open here this po has an invoice so the invoice exists checkbox is selected and we can verify that by going into the invoices application and searching based on the PO number. So there is an invoice for that particular PO. We also see the line count as one. So this tells me that this PO has one PO line on it. And it says that none of the lines are missing a cost, which is correct. If I look at another PO, for example, 
This PO does not have an invoice, so that's what this checkbox tells us. It has two PO lines, and this checkbox tells us that one of those lines is missing a line cost. So I can see here one of my PO lines is missing a cost, and if I update that, my line cost missing checkbox is now cleared. With just a one line max mill formula, we were able to use functionality that would otherwise require an automation script, and it was very simple to set up. Hope you found this useful, and thank you for joining me in the Maximo Minute.